The organizing committee of the Iron Man 2018 organized a press conference which was held at Rami Grand Hotel in Sea District today. Details and profound information of the Iron Man on the different stages of the championship and the main participants revealed during the conference. The members of the local international media attended the press conference. The Kingdom of Bahrain is set to host the Middle East Ironman 70.3 Championship Bahrain from December 6 to 8 in Bahrain Bay. It will be held under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. We are very excited uh, to have the race uh, for the fourth time in Bahrain. Uh, we actually just um, renewed our license with Ironman and uh, this year is a special year. Uh, the new venue is uh, amazing. Uh, it shows you all the iconic uh, uh, buildings that are in, in the country. Um, the participation level is going very strong. We have 84 uh, countries participating, 900 non-Bahrainis coming to Bahrain and participating. And then we have our, the side events of Iron Kids and Aquathlon. This year is, uh, is growing very rapidly. We have almost 900 kids uh, racing. We started with 300, now we have almost 900 kids. And on registration day, on the day, we expect much more. We introduced Aquathlon this year, which is swim and uh, run, and we also have a good number, 100 uh, kids are, this is the first time we do it and we already have 100 participating. So we are very excited and we're very happy to have uh, this amazing race in Bahrain. First of all, I'd like to thank His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for this wonderful event and for bringing this event into the Kingdom of Bahrain. Gulf Air is honored and privileged to be part of this, uh, this wonderful event. Uh, and it helps showcase Bahrain and keep it on the sports platform internationally and we're really honored to be part of it and we're really honored to be uh, helping individuals in the Kingdom of Bahrain encourage themselves to be more health conscious, more sports conscious and push their limits into being athletes. So it's a great initiative for us to be part of. Part of this partnership with uh, Ironman is that Gulf Air allows um, the athletes to come into Bahrain on board the national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain and what we've done for them is we've provided them special competitive rates for them to take uh, advantage of our connectivity uh, flying out of Europe into the Middle East and we're honored to have them on board our aircrafts and honored for them to be encouraging the Kingdom of Bahrain to be part of this wonderful uh, opportunity and uh, we look forward to seeing them this weekend we wish them luck. The expectations are quite high as always uh, we aim for gold that's our motto from His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa giving us opportunity to race uh, and to make all this possible for organize the Ironman Bahrain. So I'm looking, um, I would like to be on podium, so it's my last season of the race and I will try to make the most out of it. On December 3rd, the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrated the International Day for Special Needs, officially launched by the United Nations in 1992, to promote the rights and the well-being of persons with disabilities in all social, developmental and cultural fields. The event also aims to increase awareness of persons with disability in political aspects, social and economic development.
The theme of this event focused on empowering people with disabilities and ensuring inclusion and equality for comprehensive, equitable and sustainable development as empowerment is an integral part of the goals of sustainable development in accordance with the existing commitments under the Bahrain 2030 Agenda. We are here celebrating International Day for Disabled People and this is, uh, we can say, it's uh, on a yearly event. We repeat it every year. And we are here in the Gulf Disability Society Bureau in Bahrain. This is our fourth celebration, and especially we make it on these days because it's on, not only for International Day for Disability, and it's uh, even for a Volunteers Day that will be on 5th of December every year. So we are trying to reward all people who are working with us uh, especially with Gulf disability and helping special needs people and uh, disabled people, so in fact. Uh, and this is the, you can say it's the smallest thing we can reward them with. Uh, at least we um, gathering all of them on this day. And uh, we are so p uh, proud that we are uh, now more people we're getting uh, with us. Uh, they are understanding and realizing what's the volunteer things and how we can work with disabled peoples. They are uh, part of us, so more love we give them, more love we feel with them. So I just can say uh, thanks God that we are now, especially in Bahrain, after our King uh, Hamad and our uh, Prime Minister and our uh, Crown Prince, and of course we have here, you can say the Godfather of uh, disabled people, Ma'ali Sheikh Daej bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, he is the one behind all these things. He is the one who supports us always. So thank you very much, and uh, I hope I can say thank you for the whole the world for this day. Thank you. On this occasion, under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Adij bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Honorary President of the Gulf Disability Society, Chairman of the National Foundation for Disabled Services, the Executive Office of the Gulf Disability Society of Bahrain and the National Foundation for Disabled Services, organized the fourth celebration of the International Day for Special Needs on Monday at Maharag Model Youth Center. of uh, this uh, event it's to support uh, the uh, disability people uh, in Bahrain and in uh, GCC, the Gulf uh, region, and in order to honor them regarding their efforts that providing uh, in the uh, disabled sector. They are looking for support in activities and also in order to do more workshop, more training, introduce and uh, to release more information regarding the disability that we are looking in order to support for the uh, disabled people and for uh, any other uh, human. Uh, we need that in a GCC region to uh, support the disabled sector uh, in general. The ceremony started with a speech to the Executive Office at the National Foundation for Disabled Services and a speech to the honored people at the ceremony. The supporters and volunteers were honored for their work with the special needs community.
and the patronage of Her Highness Sheikh Ataj bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at the Design Crossroads, the Jewelry of Saudi Arabia exhibition was inaugurated at the Bahrain National Museum on Monday, 3rd of December. The exhibits reveal the diversity of colors, patterns, and forms, and the myriad influences that animate local designs in Saudi Arabia. For the first time ever, the Art of Heritage Group is showcasing the unique pieces of jewelry and rare collection of hundreds of years of gold and silver outside Saudi Arabia. More than 300 pieces are being displayed representing different regions of Saudi Arabia. The exhibition will continue until April 2019, daily from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Gulf Air, Bahrain's national carrier, has welcomed four Bahraini pilots who joined from other airlines. The return of aviation professionals symbolizes Gulf Air's effort to boost nationalization in its flight operations division. First officers Ali Ahmed, Falah Radi, Arwa Janahi, and Salman Sheikh were welcomed by Gulf Air's executive management who expressed their good wishes to the group. In a dedicated ceremony held at Golfers headquarters, Captain Walid Abdul Hamid Al Alawi, Golfers Deputy Chief Executive Officer, commented, We are happy to welcome the new batch of Bahraini pilots into Gulf Air. It's our priority to give Bahraini aviation professionals the chance to return home and join the national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Golfer is keen to increase Bahrainization in various divisions of the airline, including flight operations. We are proud to have them here and look forward to their contributions in bringing Gulf Air closer to achieving its goals. With over 65% of the airline's pilots being Bahraini, Gulf Air leads the way amongst the regional competitors in terms of nationalization, while still maintaining a multinational workforce that reflects the airline's position as a global carrier. Through cooperation with local organization, Gulf Air is the process to hire more Bahraini pilots to join their workforce and represent the airline to the world. The Customs Affairs has signed an agreement with the World Customs Organization and translated the second edition of the Revenues document to Arabic. The President of Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, signed the agreement on the sidelines of his participation in the meeting of the General Policies Commission of the World Customs Organization that has held in India from December 3rd to 5th. The agreement aims to enrich the custom related document in the library of the WCO with Arabic documents to be distributed among Arab countries to encourage building capabilities in the region. The Customs Affairs has translated 16 new documents. The revenues document includes all the tools and papers required to collect revenues including conventions, agreements and training materials. Information Minister His Excellency Ali bin Mohammed Al Ramihi received in his office Information Ministry Under Secretary Dr. Abdul Rahman Mohammed Bahar, who presented him with a copy of the thesis of his PhD, which was obtained from Liverpool John Morris University's Management College in the UK. The thesis focused on the strategic aspect of some influential factors regarding the exchange of the knowledge in the public sector organizations. 
The information minister loaded the effort made in compiling the study, stressing its positive impact on developing institutional work and fostering sustainability as a pillar in the government's work program and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030.